Hello and welcome, thanks for tuning in and today I have another 1080p projector review. This model is from the brand Bumica and you can find it on their website at bumica.com or using the link below this video. This is the Bumica Cinema 500 Max and it features Wi-Fi screen mirroring and Bluetooth audio technology. It has a robust design with touch manual controls and a vivid projection display. But all that sounds really good when I see it like that and it's also what you will find on their website. So to prove some of these claims, stay tuned. My full review is up next. Welcome back. So the Cinema 500 Max has a native resolution of 1080p with 250 ANSI lumens. Its display technology is LCD and its light source is LED. It has a contrast ratio of 10,000 to 1 and a 20,000 hours lamp life. It has an aspect ratio of 4 to 3 and 16 to 9 and has a maximum viewing distance of 5 meters which projects a 150 inches display. It has dual band 5 GHz Wi-Fi connectivity and Bluetooth 5.0 support. It has 4P digital horizontal keystone correction and 4K video support. So its design is very simple yet elegant with curved edges and an all white housing. At the front it has the Bomica logo, a front facing IR sensor and the projector lens cover to the right which is unusual as most projectors have it positioned to the left. At the rear, it has a pair of HDMI inputs, two USB 2.0 ports, a headphone jack, one auxiliary port, the AC power inlet, and the vent for the internal speaker. Towards the left, you have a large focus adjustment wheel and a removable dust filter that protects its intake vent. To its right, you have the exhaust vent. At the top, you have a backlit touch manual controls. And below the projector, you have four elevated anti-skid rubber feet and a screw type kickstand. So here I have it set on a projector screen and the startup process features a Bomica startup animation then you're taken to the main menu. Its main menu features smooth animations with audio clicks when switching between options. To the left, you have your input selector between the HDMI and auxiliary input and to the right is where you can access media connected via its USB ports from external storage devices. Above that, you have your screen mirroring options via Miracast or iOS Cast and to the top is where you can access the settings area. In the settings area, you have your Wi-Fi settings where you can connect to your 2.4 or 5 GHz Wi-Fi bands. Once you connect to your network, you may be prompted to complete a firmware update. So I will complete this firmware update and continue. So the update completed successfully and I didn't notice any significant changes or upgrades. The firmware is built on Android, so it probably had to do with its decoders for video playback. The settings area is divided into six sections starting with its Wi-Fi settings, which is pretty straightforward. Simply scan your network and enter your password. The same applies for Bluetooth settings. Once you open, it will begin scanning for nearby Bluetooth devices. If you have any Bluetooth speakers, you can peer to it. Under projection mode is where you'll find your display settings starting with projection direction or screen orientation. You have your digital horizontal keystone correction feature. and it has digital zoom settings. Under system updates is where you can check for any online updates. You can update locally via a flash drive and you have your factory default settings. Under other options, 
is where you can set the projector to boot directly into an input source or to boot directly to its main menu. You have power definition options. You can change the language in the language settings and you have your sleep timer settings. The final section under about is where you can view the firmware version and you have its MAC address. In its product description, it states that this projector has 4K video support. So to test this feature, I connected a flash drive to one of its USB ports and played some 4K HDR videos to see if it can downscale them to 1080p. What I discovered is that there is no display, but there is audio when playing 4K videos. I also discovered that it can play Dolby Atmos, DTS-X and DTS HD Master Audio 1080p videos via its USB ports from external storage devices. It plays Dolby Vision videos, but there is only audio with no video. And the same applies for Dolby True HD. This is Dolby Atmos, the world's first object-based cinematic audio with powerful moving audio that transcends from channels. The Cinema 500 has a 4 ohm 5 watts internal speaker that produces clear audio with good bass without rattling. Here's how it sounds when applied to its cinematic trailer. For screen mirroring, you have the option of Mirrorcast for Android devices and iOS Cast for Apple devices. To mirror your device, simply open your preferred method according to your device. Open your casting app and search for the projector's name and peer to it to begin casting. So to test its picture quality, I connected an Android TV box and I'll now play some high quality videos. would be enough because it would give them the same number of points as Atletico but the head-to-head -head goal difference is what counts in the case 
of a tally on points, the mosaic of the Camp Nou. And the Barcelona hymn being sung as referee Matteo Laoff prizing presence on the bench as well. Atletico playing in yellow, Barca in uh, their traditional red and blue Barca. The brightness and color of the display is of a very high quality with sharp edges and evenly spread focus. This is how it looks when applied to 3D gaming. If you prefer audio through your Bluetooth speaker or receiver connected to your home entertainment system, simply open the Bluetooth settings scan for your Bluetooth audio device and pair to it. Every night, I dream the same dream. For fan noise, from 1 meter away, it generated 49 decibels of fan noise. In summary, these new line of projectors have really stepped up their game in quality and features and I'm quite satisfied with its display, focus adjustment, sound quality and ease of use. I really like the digital keystone correction feature and its Wi-Fi screen mirroring and Bluetooth feature provides modern connecting capabilities. So if you would like to get your hands on this one, I highly recommend it as a great quality 1080p projector to buy that's competitively priced below $200 on their website and on their AliExpress store. See the link in the description below this video. So give this video the thumbs up if you like this projector. Thanks goes out to Bomaker for sending their product for review. Remember to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red subscription button below this video along with the notifications bell to be notified as soon as I release new videos or decide to do a giveaway. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.